All right, friends. Today we're gonna do some something different. We're gonna do a a meatloaf, and uh, this is a meatloaf recipe that was my mother's that I've added on to over the years, and it's ended up uh, being a favorite in the family and amongst friends. So we're inviting some very old friends out. Uh, met this guy when he was uh, before he was a teenager, <laughs> and then uh, he met this wonderful woman. And they got married. They've got children, and and uh, they're just an awesome couple. But anyway, the Rileys are coming to dinner. Probably have uh, a few other friends here and some family. My son and his daughter and my grandbaby. Anyway, we're going to have meatloaf for Sunday dinner. we got uh, going to have a regular spices. we got some uh, 80 20 and some 90 10, two pounds of each. Some my sweet peppers, my favorite sweet peppers. I'm going to use. Uh, Chunk up some bacon spam in half inch squares, throw that through it, that bacon flavored spam adds to it. Uh, and then for our binder, with along with the eggs, we're going to use wavy potato chips. You can use the generics if you want, but about, about, about a cup for every two pounds of meat. So two cups of crunched up potato chips. And our sauce, uh, this is my mother's sauce with a kick. So. Get uh, your favorite ketchup, some mustard, uh, brown sugar, and I'm going to use Cholula chili lime. Going to have us some good Sunday dinner. All right, we're going to have some kind of taters with that. And uh, yeah. all right, I like to start early so that I can make sure I get everything mixed together and and the flavors all meld. So we're going to start with our, our brown sugar. I like it sweet, so uh, that's up to you how much you use, but I'm going to use probably a loose cup. And this is, I, I make two meatloafs, uh, one for work and one for eating. But the last couple of times, didn't make it <laughs> to work. Alright, we'll take our ketchup. This is a ketchup based sauce, so you want quite a bit of ketchup. Mustard. About a quarter the amount of mustard as you have ketchup. And then your hot sauce. Quite a bit of hot sauce in there. Then we want salt and this later will change we'll uh, taste it and everything we'll see how much how much everything needs we'll season it to taste All right. Stir it up. Perfect. Alright, cover this, put it in the refrigerator, let it set all day. That'll be, uh, be ready. Get all that uh, garlic powder and stuff absorbed in there. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna all start right. breaking stuff down. Get some more peppers out here. get these broke down and uh, cut our spam up. I'll show you how to do that. Uh, we'll get right back with you. Alright. Let's our potato chips. Let's take the air out of the bag first. Up there. And about half. This is a, a 10 ounce bag, 10 and a half ounce, and I think it's the 8 ounce bag or something like that to get it at 
Sam's, get the wavy ones or the rigid ones, whichever they're the same thing. Or you can get ruffles. Ruffle, I didn't, I didn't see ruffles. So, okay, and we got our meat here. This is 80-20. You don't want a whole lot of fat in it. I'm not a big fan of the fat. Okay. Obviously, I've washed my hands at this point. thick slices. And then and thirds again. And half inch squares. This is going to be red when you cook it. That's going to be brown when you cook it. When you cut through it you'll see squares. Good stuff. All right, we'll get this chopped, get all that in there. Talk to you a minute. By the way, bacon flavored Spam. I don't know if you uh, if you have ever tried that, but <laughs> it's good stuff. Bacon makes everything better. Just cover this and put it back in the refrigerator. It's about uh, 8.45 right now. We'll probably start cooking it. Uh, oh no, about 2.30, something like that. So give it about four hours to just kind of like all of the flavors come together. It's meatloaf. It's supposed to be congruent. There you go. All right. Talk to you in a minute. Oh, we're going to make some homemade scalloped potatoes. Let's try that. All right. Okay, here's what I do. Generally, when I make this, I make a bunch, number one, and I make several of them. Okay. Work, home, snacking for like the next couple of days, and everybody else. Or everybody else, depending on how many people I got. But the one, always, and I repeat, always must have extra sauce put in it and sliced so that you can have meatloaf sandwiches. I'm telling you, cold meatloaf sandwiches with this sauce on it. Mm. If I have a restaurant, a cold meatloaf sandwich, this recipe, that's what I'm going to get rich off of, I guarantee you. All right, so what we do. We uh, probably want half of it in this one. Uh, container here. Let the dog get the little piece of pepper that fell on the floor. Alright, this will shrink while you're cooking it. You just let it shrink. I always try and separate it from the edges. I run my fingers down the edges like this. Get it all just uniform as you possibly can. All right, like that. You see how the edges are? All right, and then you can poke your fingers in the top to give you some place for your sauce to be. Your sauce is like frosting on a meat cake. I'm telling you. All right, there we go. We're going to pour some sauce on that, uh, probably after about it, 45 minutes of it cooking. Yeah, we'll do the other two. All 
I want to thank my mama for cooking like she did. Because if she didn't cook the way she did, and I didn't have my aunt that cooked the way she did, I never would have cared about nothing that tasted like anything. I'd have just been sucking back burgers my whole damn life. And I wouldn't have gave a shit. Thanks, Mom. All right. 400 degrees. Now, we call it 350 for 30 minutes. Drain the damn grease out of it. Cook it another 10 minutes or so. Drain the grease out of it again. If you're using 8020, that's why I use 9010. If you're using 8020, you want to get that grease out of there. It'll shrink quite a bit. Then you pour your sauce in there and let that cook another 30 minutes or so. And that sauce will thicken up and that will be badass. There you go. Right now is when you want to think about something. I've had this sauce that's been in my refrigerator all day long and I'm cooking meatloaf in glass. Do I want to introduce cold sauce to hot glass? Hmm. Sides. This will help it thicken up. Alright, we just drain. When I get that Alright, we're gonna put some sauce on here. We're not gonna fill it up completely, but we're gonna go get us a lot of sauce. And you know. But my sauce, uh, it goes on the tomorrow one, the majority of it. Because <laughs> that's when you need it the most with the sandwiches. All right, there we go. We got our sauce in there. Get it down and fill the voids. Make sure it ain't going to boil over on the side. We don't want that to happen. And burl it. Burl it in there another 20 minutes or so. And if it's me, I let my damn meatloaf. I let it loaf for a while before I eat it. I let it cool off about halfway to room temperature. Probably where it's still warm, but it ain't hot. We got it going on. We got our tater done. We got our meatloaf cooked. Let's plate this shit up. Let's see here. Get our beans out. Get ourselves some beans there. Go ahead and get us some taters and some company. Alrighty. And some meatloaf. Sunday dinner. Spam is different. Well, that's a different touch. The spam is something Terry came up with. We called this Mike and Terry meatloaf forever. Because it sounded like a disease. <laughs> Mike and Terry. All right, there you go, friends. There is your uh, Sunday dinner. We got the scalloped potatoes. We got uh, what I call Cavender's green beans. And uh, Mama's meatloaf. What do you think, boy? Is it good? Enjoying it? Discretion? You like it? Matt? Fantastic. The rallies? I have no complaints. No complaints whatsoever. <laughs> well, there you go. Sunday dinner.
Meatloaf. Y'all have a good one. Little doggy.